Capricorn, hello my love. Welcome to Lady of the Unknown Oracle. My name is Sophie. Welcome in. For those of you who are joining me for the very first time, welcome. I'm so excited to be connecting with you. I hope you enjoy your message. If you do, please remember to like, share, subscribe. Let me know how you feel in the comments down below. I would love to know how you're doing. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much, Kat, for allowing me to reconnect with you. Thank you for all of your continued love and support. You make what I do possible. I love you to the moon and back. So thank you so much for being with me. Um, my dear Cap, we're going to go ahead and jump right into your reading. Please remember that this is a general reading. So this may or may not resonate with your current situation. Okay, If you find that this reading does in no way or in very little way actually resonates with what you're currently experiencing, then by all means throw the entire message out the window okay you do not have to force this to fit your current situation for others of you though this will resonate very strongly and if it does i hope it provides you the clarity and guidance that you seek moving forward we will be doing an extended reading after the general reading where we'll go a bit more in depth into um, people who you're connecting with right um, a particular person that you're connecting with or a group depending on what shows up um, their emotions towards you, their intentions towards you, the advice for you to m more easily navigate the situation and to stay in alignment with your greatest and highest good, as well as the, what the long-term outcome between you and this person will likely be, or just you on your own, right? Depending on what the messages um, are that show up today. Now, at the end of the general reading, we will discuss in particular what we'll go into in the extended, because sometimes during the actual reading, we find new beginnings are cropping up or like new, just new energies, new people, in which case we'll accommodate time in the extended reading to also venture into what those energies might look like, okay? So we'll go into that right before we hop on in the extended at the end of the general reading. So if you'd like to join me in the extended, the link for it will be in the description box below as well as pinned to the top of the comment section below, along with the link to my personal booking system in case you would like to pers uh, book a personal reading instead, okay? So Cap, just like we've been doing in our past readings together, I went ahead and pulled from the Oracle in order to gain a an idea of what elements are at play in your life. People, right? People or just big themes, messages, things of that nature. But what I'm seeing, okay, what I'm seeing is that there's someone that you're connecting with who is communicating with you right now, okay, or is going to be communicating with you. You have high hopes, Cap, of a new life. There, there's a big plan that you have ahead. You know, you, you've opened your heart, and for many of you, you've opened up your heart to the idea of a new person, right? This past ending has been very difficult. The transition to where you are now has been extremely taxing. And yet a person, someone in the environment, this could be a past person, okay? But it doesn't have to be. This could just be someone in your environment now who is spiteful that they are not your choice. You know, someone maybe that you've rejected in the past. I'm not entirely sure because you've got this journey with thief. This person wants to take away opportunity. They want to take away, you know, the um, the new beginning that you have for yourself, right? There's There could be a, an ending that they're trying to avoid. But ultimately, this is somebody who sees that you are on your way to something new. They see you here with child and distant horizons. For some of you, you know, this is someone who is literally getting in the way of you closing a distance between you and a child. You and someone um, who, you know, may have a child. Someone who you've made a promise to, and it's regarding the child, right? So it's not about you and the friend. It's about the fact that you made a promise to be closer, maybe a sibling or a friend. Um, for others of you, it's not quite as literal, right? It's just that there's a new beginning. Maybe you have to travel overseas for it because you have a ship in this pit, in, in this card here. Maybe you have to go overseas, but there's a big plan. Something that you thought was just so out of reach that now you're feeling very, very comfortable in. And it's because they don't want to see you coupled. They don't want to see you happy in someone else's arms, in someone else's company. They don't want to see you with certain people or a particular person. Message in a bottle with breathe. Okay, I see you here, Cap, really trying to give this person the benefit of the doubt, right? You're really just exercising that inner peace, that tolerance, that patience, right? You don't want to make it seem like this person. You see yin underneath message in a bottle. You've got yin. So it's like you're here on the receptive end of a message. But you're also just channeling that feminine energy of just trying to to nurture, right? You're just you're you're very patient. You're letting someone here be who they who they need to be in the situation. Um, I don't see you getting sucked in. I don't see you getting sucked in to to their to their measures. And I say measures because it feels to me like whatever they're going to communicate or whatever they have been communicating has been very excuse me, insincere, okay? Like they really do want to get in the way of whatever these new plans are. What I do see is the possibility for sabotage. So we're going to see what this energy is because you you might have a feeling this is happening, Kat, but 
you may be waiting for the other shoe to drop. Okay? Like, they may have said something to you that was questionable, that wasn't manipulative outright, but that you feel based on their incentive, like based on um, their motivation, right? Not incentive, based on their motivation, you feel like that first message was kind of uncalled for and you're like, okay, well, I rejected you a couple months ago and you said it was okay being friends, but now I'm seeing this new person and you have nothing but negative things to say, but I can't really draw a conclusion right now, right? So you're just kind of, you're, you're trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. They said something that didn't cross a line, but it's dancing around the line. So you're waiting for them to say or do something a bit more obvious. So that way you don't feel bad about distancing yourself because you do question the validity of this person's claims, but you do know better. And you know that this person is most likely lying. You know that this person is most likely trying to sabotage what you have, what you've been trying to build, right? This could also be a past person um, <clears throat> coming to wherever it is that you moved to under the guise that they're just trying to start over with you. But in reality, they're trying to make sure that they position themselves in a way that makes it awkward for you to meet new people. Okay? You're the bigger person here, though. You're the bigger person here. You are definitely the bigger person here. So four of swords is the overarching energy. This is just, it's its the same energy of breathe, okay? It's the same energy of breathe right here, right? Where you're just, you're, you're, you're contemplating, right? And this is after a heartbreak. The four of swords is after some sort of um, hurtful con con conclusion, a hurtful conclusion, something that you found out about or just a hard conversation, a difficult conversation, tower moment right now in your present something very unexpected we'll clarify this position too okay we'll clarify this position could be connecting with a scorpio something very unexpected i do believe it's this message in a bottle okay finding out that this person is now in your city finding out that this person actually wants to try something again right finding out the truth about something finding out that this person is indeed a thief right finding out that this person stole from you finding out that this person's motivations are to sabotage what you've been creating could be connecting with a Gemini. Your block here is this soulmate connection, or at the very least, a very a very big decision. This could be, though, I do sense that this is someone that you have a very strong soul tie to. And now that's what's making a decision very difficult for you to make, right? On your mind, you've got the wheel of fortune. So you sense that there's a big shift occurring in your life, a monumental shift, okay? You could be thinking about when the right time would be to speak to this person. Let them know that you're not interested. Let them know that their intentions um, are, are very clear to you and that you're not interested in partaking. Okay? This could have just been a, a difficult breakup in the past, Cap. Okay, there could be a need here to revisit it. This person has, has you know, dug dug this out from, from beneath the dirt, right? Saying that maybe timing is better now. Trying to, trying to, trying to flip that angle. And in your heart, you have the four of wands. In your heart, you do want stability. But I think for you, Cap, what you want more than anything is stability on your own. I don't think that this person is who you want. While they may be bringing up good points, valid points, right? You do know one thing for sure, and that's you. That's that you don't want to repeat a, a terrible situation. Recent past, you severed ties from someone. Could have been connected with a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. All right, but this is definitely a distance right doing what needed to be done because it was right not because it felt good something definitely hurt but there was truth right whatever that past energy was it, it definitely um brought that energy into the current because you are feeling the tower right now there is a, either a, a very a very incredible earth shaking earth shattering clarity that you're receiving about this connection right about what it was from this person in particular a clarity that that you're that you're is now informing this next step okay informing this next step now coming and you could be connecting with a cancer i do see you leaving all of this behind though i see you just whatever whatever this tower moment was for you cap you're leaving it behind you're leaving it behind i don't think while this i don't think you know what's funny 
I don't think this tower moment happened for you. I think this happened for the other person. I think maybe something happened. This person spoke to you, sent you a, a message, or just communicated something to you that you were not expecting. Again, maybe they're going to be closer now in proximity, and you're just, you realize that this is kind of going to change things around, but you're trying to go within and, and really be patient with it. I think that might have, that could have been the tower moment for you, was just the, unexpected, the unexpectedness of it all. But I think truly the person you're connecting with is more surprised and more shocked that what they said to you did not have the effect of you coming back to them, right? You not, you, you actually, what they said to you, what they said, whatever reconciliation or whatever words they, 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 they used in their message, whoever they chose to involve in this message, right? It only sent you flying further away from them. It didn't bring you closer. It sent you just even more out the door. You see yourself with the three of cups. You're happy. You're having fun. You're enjoying your girlfriends, your guy friends. You're going out on dates. You're having fun. You're being social, right? This person hates that. This person hates that you're moving on. So because of that in your environment, right, they could be trying to come closer to you. For others, this isn't about physical proximity, right? It's not, it may not be that this person is physically moving closer to you, but the fact that they are trying to reserve some space in your mind, they're making themselves known. Your fear here with the devil could be connecting with a Capricorn. Your fear here is that on some level, they might actually be able to win some space in your mind, that you may pay attention to this person and what they're saying. You might begin to harbor self-doubt. You may begin to believe their lies. Okay, Page of Swords, be very careful. I'm getting that this is online communication, right? Online communication, online dating. Um, they, for some of you, this person might be faking a profile. That's very specific. That's very specific. Um, and that is for some of you. Be very careful. This person is trying to, they're trying to gain territory in your mind. Online. Yeah, you see, we have the world here. This is definitely World Wide Web, right? This is World Wide Web here. Okay. Page of Swords, the world, this is, you know, this is online, this is messages via text message, through social media, um, this person is really trying to interfere with you, okay, they're trying to be around, that's it, block this person, I'm sorry, Cap, we're not even there yet, you need to block this person, okay, this per, what it is, is they're going to try to, they're going to try to confuse you, they want to make it seem, they want to convince you that the fact that you're trying to pull away from them is a mistake, that you're actually very confused and you're under the illusion that you're walking towards something better than them when in reality you're not. But the truth is, Cap, you are. So who's this person? Hello, what the hell? Put them back in their place, baby. No way. Three of Pentacles with the world. Right? So uh, definitely a partnership that was closed off. You guys could have worked together at one point and, be, and it became romantic. You guys could have been, um, you guys could have been romantic and you tried to be friends and then that didn't really work out. Okay, this person is really trying to win their way back into your good graces, though. And I don't think it's by doing you favors. I think it's by trying to convince you that where you're headed is not where you're actually meaning to head. Okay. Um, you could be connecting with a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. This person's a terrible communicator. I think what could happen is if, at the very least, if they're not trying to get your attention by being around more and by, by reaching out more, right they could try to get your attention by spreading gossip and be and pretending to be a friend right that's that's super that's super specific cap let me know if that pertains to you okay because that that i am getting that very strong here there's someone that's really they're they're going the wrong way about it going about it the, the wrong 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 way what's this can uh, the cancerian energy please what is this cancerian energy coming in what is this cherry energy coming into the near future please could be connected with a Cancer Pisces with the moon here. Is this chariot? What's this chariot energy or who is this chariot energy? Ace of Cups. Yeah, you're onto something new, Cap. Absolutely. You're not even worried about this anymore. This person, let's the star. You could be heading, you could be heading straight to an Aquarius. In terms of healing, it's going to take you still a little bit longer to heal from this. So don't rest assured, Cap, you know, this person has a point in that pulling away from them is hard, but it's only hard because what you had before was very serious. So the, the, the healing time is longer for that reason. Exactly. Right. It is, it is going to take a while, but not because you weren't supposed to do it, right? Not because it was a mistake. It's just when something, when you, when you pull the root out that was very deep right it just hurts that the healing time is longer that's all it is 
but this person wants you to think about it differently five of wands they're going to try to get you conflicted but you're walking like all of that fighting and conflicted emotions and what they're trying to get you to feel the hermit could be connecting with a virgo you're separating yourself like you know you know better they're trying to put you in this weird internal conflict type energy but you truly 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 know better right hermit five of wands you really do know better you're you're not indulging in this ace of ace of uh, cups with the star so aquarian energy but in the beginning you're healing you're you're loving yourself you're just you, you're taking time to enjoy you're taking time to enjoy this person doesn't like that they really don't let me see what this tower moment was in the present in the present in the present moment cap it's gonna be okay you hear me it's gonna be okay promise promise cross my heart hope to die stick a needle in my eye I'm telling you i'm telling you let me know if that reference rings any bells if not i just dated myself <laughs> i love you cap i love you so much um tower let's see what this tower was it's gonna be okay though don't don't worry you're on your you're doing exactly what you need to be doing you're hanging around with friends if you're not hanging with friends right you're just doing something that really really enlightens you it fills your heart up right if what you're if what you like to do is study you're studying all the stuff that you like to study you're not trying to impress someone and, and learning skills that you have no interest in just because you're trying to impress them or because you don't want to hear hear them go on and on about how you don't try things for them or you're, you're partaking in activities with or without people but things that really align you to happiness align you with 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 joy fulfillment contentedness you're just you're celebrating you're having a good time yeah that's it one more card please for what this tower is the moon nine of cups the moon yeah someone was selfish someone was selfish cancer pisces very strong here scorpio all three all three water signs are represented very very strongly in this first present energy um so that's just someone with watery qualities they don't have to be they don't have to have those signs specifically but just it's a lot of emotion okay so in terms of what was happening here is someone was really really only thinking about themselves and that came to an end you you've got fed up with somebody only doing what they wanted without considering your feelings and you said enough is enough i'm gonna focus on myself now i'm pursuing myself i'm going to i'm going to realize my dreams right I'm going to realize my dreams. I'm going to build a foundation that is strong. And that's not going to resemble what you and I had here. You, what you and I had was actually very weak. That's why it came down. So no. No. I get what you're saying, but you're delusional. Point blank, period. And this person does not like that. But it doesn't matter what they want. You, this is you. This is about you now. Doing what you need to do. For yourself. Page of Swords here as the, as the most likely outcome, please. What is this page of swords or who is this page of swords five of swords that's what i'm saying they're manipulative they're gonna try to they're gonna be careful be careful guys temperance could be connecting with a sagittarius this person's gonna pretend that's what i'm saying that storyline is coming in so damn clear cap this person if you are connected to them online they're going to create a fake account stir drama and then they're gonna expect you to go back into their arms as a friend no hell no Hell to the no, no, to the no, no, no. No, baby. No, baby. We ain't got time for that. You're over here chilling with your friends. You're over here healing, having a good time, leveling up. And then this person wants to come in and drag you back into their funk. Hell no. Strength. Good. Could be connecting with a Leo. What about this strength? Three of Swords. You see that? The lovers. Third party situation. Nine of swords underneath. For some people, this person's going to come back in claiming that they left their old ways behind. They have not. They have not. Especially if you're connected with a Leo or a Gemini here, Cap. Everything that... You, everything... Let's just say that it's not a third party situation. Okay? Whatever it was, that was your heartbreak. Because remember, we just, we just talked about how your overarching energy is the four of swords. So you came out of a three of swords situation. Something that broke your heart, something that didn't meet your expectations, something that cut you very deeply. Whatever that was, they're trying to come in and tell you that it's over, but it's not over. Everything that, that caused you anxiety, everything that broke your heart in the past with this person, with this soulmate who is currently your block, who is currently your block, this Gemini, this soulmate, this soul tie that you're having a hard time cutting loose, 
they're going to come in and say, listen, I've evolved. I've become something more. You're the one that's that's holding back, Cap. You're the one that's holding back. We could actually make this great if only you would just give me a moment. No. No. They're faking sincerity. This is a ploy. This is just them trying to manipulate you back into being with them. So, no. This person is not being sincere. Okay? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. So let me see. I, I'm feeling like I need to pull two more cards out. Two more cards, please. But this person is definitely... Um, mm -mm. They're not sincere, Cap. I think you know this. I think you know this. What else does Cap need to know? What, is, what else does Cap need to know, please? Excuse me. This person could be gossiping about you. It's miscommunication or withholding of, of, of information in an attempt to, to, to make you think something that would put them at an advantage. It would, it would put them in it would put them in kind of like that role of being a friend when in reality they're really not your friend. And you know, again, you know this, Cap. Don't don't let them play you for a fool, sweetie. You're doing great by yourself. You don't need this person. No. No, no, no. Yeah. Look at it with disinterest. You don't need to be acting. Yeah. Someone here, they're going to... Someone here is really trying to stir you in the, um, uh, what's it called? Steer you in the wrong direction. Okay, four of cups, page of wands, seven of swords. Someone's trying to steer you in the wrong direction, okay? You know exactly what you're interested in and what you're not interested in. You know that, you know, if this is a love interest, right, they're hoping that they can, you know, they're hoping that they can sucker you back in, right? They're hoping that, that hopefully just the, the physical attraction between you and this person, you know, for some, this is like a, a person that you're meeting online, like we were saying, right? And this person is hoping that your attraction to them is going to be enough. They're going to tell you that they have feelings for you, and they don't. What they're telling you is untrue. What they're telling you is untrue. They're going to try to appeal to your indecision, right? That 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 just that that blip Capricorn where you like give them the benefit of the doubt. They're hoping to latch onto it and, and use it use it to take away. To, to just steal one chance. They just want one chance with you. Right? This person just wants one chance with you. And that that I feel can be for someone that you that you meet very soon. Okay? So for some of you there are multiple people involved and you have one person who's trying to come back and another person that you're going to be meeting in your outcome, right? You're leaving a situation behind but then you're meeting a new person who's only bringing in the same garbage that that your ex brought in or that the past person that you rejected in the past brought in. This person's going to do a lot of this and they're not going to they're not going to show and prove. They're not going to show and prove. They're not going to come in and say something and actually do it with their actions. They're not going to align themselves with what they're telling you is the truth. They're just going to hope that you give them the benefit of the doubt. They're going to take what they want and then they're going to they're going to ghost you. They're going to walk away. They have no intention of staying at all. 3 of swords, 5 of swords, 7 of swords, okay? Deception, manipulation. They're not telling you the truth. It's going to hurt. They're playing you for a fool, and yet you're happy. You're happy as a damn clam right now, Cap. You're happy as a damn clam with your friends, having fun, drinking the drinks, okay? Not even drinking the drinks, being by yourself, drinking the drinks, right? Whether the drink is, you know, some sort of alky or some hot chocolate, whatever it is. You know what I mean? Like, you're, you're content. You're having fun. You're by yourself. You're enjoying your solitude, either with or without people, but it's all your choice. And that's the sweetest part is that it's all freedom. It's all... It's all what, what you feel aligned to do. It's who you decide to be with, who you decide to be around. This person wants to play you for a fool, and they obviously just don't know who they're messing with. So don't give them the opportunity of, of shysting you, Cap. Don't give them the opportunity of shysting you because the truth is this person's an imposter, okay? They don't know. They, they're, no, fraudulent. Fra fraudulent, counterfeit, everything. They're, they're just, this is, this is embarrassing for them to even try it on you, all right? So please please okay if it looks sex only and you want something more it probably is sex only and just leave it alone if there's someone here that's not giving you the whole truth and you can tell but you want to believe them don't not until you can you can see it with 100 percent certainty that that is the quality of their character and you're very good at determining that cat but you're so sweet and i always say it in every reading you're so sweet you let people get by with murder man you know just you're gonna know you're going to know what people's intentions are. They're going to be clear as day. You're going to see the desperation. You're going to feel it in them. 
look the other way. Don't even entertain it. Don't be a part of it. Don't accept. Don't say yes. Don't say maybe. Say, nope, I've got plans. Goodbye. Okay. So, Cap, I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to head over to the extended now where we will go into, okay, this person, okay, the person that you're thinking about. When you when you see, when, you, when you're hearing this reading, we're going to go into that person's emotions because this could be one person, it could be another person. But this is going to be for whoever is the most relevant for you. Even if there are two people involved, what the, the person who this you this really sounds like to you, we're going to go into their energy, okay? How they feel towards you, what their intentions are towards you, as well as what your actions through this situation should be like in order to stay aligned to your greatest and highest good, to really come out of this with as little... Um, damage as possible right and as much healing and recovery as possible and what the long-term outcome is going to look like for you after this resolves okay so we'll identify people energies that are coming in right as a result of of um of this closing off and people kind of assuming their position right being back in their place and you know what the relationship might be like and things of that nature okay cap so i'm gonna see you over there if you'll join me there the link is down below in the description box as well as pinned to the top of the comment section if you decide that that is is, is okay you're just gonna um you know this is where we part ways then that is great too i appreciate you for stopping by thank you so much for joining me here if you enjoyed the reading please remember to like share subscribe leave me a comment down below and until next time cap i i love you i'm sending you all my adoration and I'll see you next time, okay? I love you with all my heart, my love. It's going to be okay. <laughs>